Welcome to Mathematics with Ms. Grade 12, DBE 2022 Final Paper 1, Questions 2 and 3. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. So this is the information or so-called formula sheet. Please take note. This is important that whenever you answer any question, always consult this page to help you to make your problems easier. Right, this was question two. Take note the mark allocation, 14 marks. So the first term of a geometric series is 14 and the sixth term is 448. You must calculate the value of the constant ratio for two marks. Then for four marks, determine the number of consecutive terms that must be added to the first six terms of the series in order to obtain a sum of 114,674. And for three marks, if the first term of another series is 448 and the sixth term is 14, calculate the sum to infinity of the series. And then 2.2, if uh, the sum of or sigma with P in 0 and ending in K, and the general term is 1 third P plus 1 over 6 is equal to 20 and 1 6, determine the value of K. Right, so remember now 2.1, the first term of a geometric series is 14, and the sixth term is 448. So, so uh, if the first term is 14, that means A is 14. And of course, T6 is 14 R to the power 5. Remember, we're using the formula of a general term for a geometric series. So we'll just check on your formula sheet. You will find the formula there. So you do your substitution. So R to the power N minus 1 will be 6 minus 1, which is R to the power 5. And of course, equals to 448. So the term is 448, then you divide by 14 on both sides, and then you find the fifth root of 32. So therefore, R equals to 2. Take note the mark allocation, one mark for the formula and substitution, and one mark for the final answer. Right, 2.12. Now you must determine the number of consecutive terms that must be added to the first six terms of the series in order to obtain a sum of 114,674. So if you look at the solution, remember now the general formula for a geometric uh, sequence, Tn equals to a r to the power n minus 1. So we already know the 14. We already know where the 2 is coming from. We just done 2 in the previous question and to the power n minus 1. Then you take the sum formula for a geometric series and then do your substitution. So 14 into 2 to the power 6 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And then we get 882. And then we subtract this 882 from the 114,674 and it gives us 113,792. So that is our new sum. And that you, uh, you again use the, the formula. So 113792 equals to 896 into 2 to the power n minus 1. Then, of course, divide both sides by 896 and add 1. Then you get 2 to the power n equals to 128. And at this stage, you can either use logs to find n, or you can use your exponential laws, or you can use your calculator. And you'll get n equals to 7. Right, 2.13. If the first term, if the first term of another series is 448 and the sixth term is 14, calculate the sum to infinity of the new series. So r is then a half, or you can calculate it by doing the following calculation: 448r to the power 5 is 14. Remember, the sixth term is 14, don't forget. Therefore, then divide uh, 14 by 448 and find the fifth root, and you get a half. 
then you go to sum to infinity formula which is also on the formula sheet so a is 4 for 8 and of course 1 minus a half and you get sum to infinity of 896 again look at the mark allocation right question 2.2 the sigma of p equals to zero and starting in p zero and ending in k and one third p plus one over six is equal to 20 and one six remember people 20 and one six is actually the sum so don't forget that so you must find k so therefore you first need to expand the series first start by substituting p with a zero then you get one third Please, this is calculate work, people. Then replace P with a 2, and you get 1 over 6, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. So remember now, and of course, 20 and 1 over 6 can be simplified. So the, so the common difference is therefore 1 third. If you say to 1 over 6 minus 1 third, it's the same as 3 over 6 minus 1 six. So you get 1 third as the common uh, difference so therefore this is arithmetic so you take the sum formula for arithmetic remember the sum is 121 over 6 equals to n over 2 remember n is the unknown We're looking for n remember right because k represents n so 2 and a is 1 over 6 I mean it's 2a plus n minus 1 d don't forget so a is 1 over 6 and d is 1 third then use your calculator to simplify the square bracket remove the round brackets simplify multiply in with n collect your like terms and then of course you can multiply by 3 or you can just simplify and you get 121 equals to n squared therefore n is the square root of 120 which is 11. now remember if the series starts by p equals to 0 then n can't be 11 n must be 10 because it's one term less because p starts in zero question three it is given that the general term of a quadratic number pattern is tn equals to n squared plus bn plus 9 and the first term of the first difference is 7 remember now this is a quadratic number pattern 3.1 show that b is 4 Determine the value of the 60th term of this number pattern. Determine the general term for the sequence of first differences of the quadratic number pattern. Write your answer in the form TP equals to MP plus Q. Which two consecutive terms in the quadratic pattern have a first difference of 157? Take note, 10 marks for question 3. Right, so let's look at 3.1. So remember now it is a quadratic number pattern and you must and the first difference the first and the first term of the first difference is seven show that b is four right so let's answer that so 3a plus b is seven remember this comes from your quadratic formulas 3a plus b is seven right don't forget because it's the first term of the first difference therefore uh, then of course you can then three then three plus b is seven therefore b is 4 right take note of the mark allocation or you could have said term 2 minus term 1 is 7 so there you are then so term 2 is 4 plus 2 b plus 9 and term 1 is 1 plus b plus 9 equals to 7 so therefore b equals to 4 point two determine the value of the 60th term of this number pattern Right, so now we can do our substitution now because we know that b is 4, so you put b equals to 4 now. So now the equation is n squared plus 4n plus 9. Then term 60, replace n with a 60. This is calculator work, and you get 3849. Determine the general term for the sequence of the first differences of the quadratic number pattern. Write the answer in the form tp equals to m plus q take note the first difference will be a linear pattern so don't forget that so there you are 14 21 30 41 so the first difference will be 7 9 and 11 remember where it's coming from 21 minus 14 is 7 30 minus 21 is 9 41 minus 30 is 11 is it clear 
So it's a first difference. So the common second difference is therefore 2. So, the, so TP is then 2P plus 5. So that is one way of doing it. Or you can say the first difference is 7, 9, and 11. Then you use a formula for uh, an arithmetic sequence. Because there's a common difference, don't forget. So A plus N minus 1D. So A is 7. Of course, N is your P and D is the 2. And you get exactly the same answer. So what must you remember here? That the second, the first difference is linear. 3.4, which two consecutive terms in the quadratic number pattern have a first difference of 157? So let's see. So remember, first difference is 2p plus 5. So 157 is 2p plus 5. So therefore, p is 76. So that is between term 76 and term 77. Or alternatively, you could have used the other method, t to the t n plus 1 minus t n, don't forget, because it is arithmetic, right? is 157 so therefore n plus 1 squared plus 4 times n plus 1 plus 9 minus n squared plus 4 n plus 9 should all give you 157 so remove the brackets collect the like terms and you get n equals to 76 all right this is Ahmed Suleiman from mathematics with m's don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Subscription is free.